You're watching old mates Backyard Tech. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Well, welcome to part three of resurrecting my Acer AT350. I have a keyboard, screen, power, and what we're going to do for this one, I've added another 16 gig of RAM, or at least I think it's 16 gig. So, so far, 32 gig of RAM in this thing. Uh, more, obviously, to come, um, because 32 gig of RAM's just not enough for me, um, at least from a running continuous VM point of view. All right. Now, this is going to be noisy, as we know, while it initially starts up. So... Um, we want to get, well, let's hope first off that it boots, has the right RAM, and then we'll get in and reconfigure the uh, SAS expander. I've made my mind up. Um, three one terabyte drives in RAID 5, and one 500 gig hard drive for all ISOs. At least, ISOs for this machine. That's my fault. God, that's bloody loud. Holy hell, this thing is loud for some reason. Okay, only 8 gig of RAM. Something's not right. Hang on, guys. All right, well, it didn't like that other RAM. So, let's see what this does. Now, I've got to find something to keep that button down. Hard drive do it. Hard drive will do it. Damn tamper switch. Hang on, guys. This thing's going to arc up. Okay, that's a bit better. <laughs> All right, so we have 16 gig of RAM in it at the moment. That's not enough. That is definitely not enough RAM. So, mind you, the time and date's out as well. Look at the time. Reckons it's, what, 25 past 10 yesterday night. Struth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get some more RAM for this thing. I should have another 16 or 32 gig lying around somewhere. So we'll go and get that installed, and then uh, we'll, we'll uh, get the hard drive sorted out. So back in a tick. 
All right, found two more eight gig sticks, so that's 32 gig of RAM. Jammed a screwdriver in that intrusion switch. I just want to get the BIOS and everything sorted out before we actually do the uh, LSI controller. Geez, I've got a good mind to short out that intrusion switch. <laughs> so there's the old setup. I don't really, I'm not really worried about that. Just want to make sure we've got 32 gig of RAM. So that's all right. We have 32 gig of RAM. I'm happy with 32. I've probably got some more RAM from that RAM box. I might be able to get it up to 48 gig of RAM. Uh, another two or another four four gig sticks, which would be more than enough because I want... Well, Debian really only needs two gig to run with what it's going to run. But then I want to be able to run, you know, MX-19, OpenMan Driver, and at least one other VM. So, all right. Well, let's, uh, let me go find a mouse and we will set up the, um, we'll set up the uh, new RAID controller. Uh, actually, yeah, no. What's the time? Oh, I'm not going to have time. Uh, or I might. Hang on, let me see if I can find a mouse real quick and we'll uh, set up the RAID controller. Alrighty, so I've got a mouse. I'm going to start that. You can see how I've basically um, killed it. So what I want to do is clear configuration. Why won't you clear? Uh, what's going on here? Hang on a minute. What the hell is going on here? Uh, virtual drives. Back. Controller section. Yeah, that's right. Configuration wizard. Clear the configuration, that's what I wanted. Yes. Alright. So, you can see there, we have three one terras and a half terra, and that's exactly how I'm going to um, configure the machine. So I go back down to con configure, we'll go with a new configuration. Next, yes. Manual configuration. Okay, so we want to go add. Add. And add. Accept driver group. Okay, next, uh, RAID 5, add the span, uh, it needs to be RAID 5. And it will be one point eight one seven. See there, I've got the available RAID sizes. So one point eight one seven terabytes. Uh, accept. Oh, 
no. Hang on, I don't want that. Right back. Accept. Oh, you bloody thing. That's the only problem I have with web BIOS is that when you make a mistake, it, um... Accept. Unacceptable size. Hang on a minute. Alrighty, so... Added both driver groups, or DGs. I'm going to save that configuration. Uh, it is possible to enable the SSD cache on the following new virtual drives. I don't have it. Yes. Fast initialization. Go. And we're done. So we have basically one point or near enough, damn it, to 1.87 terabytes for the mains and 464 gig for the ISOs. I don't need any more than that, all right? Not for this thing. Considering this is already going to have a nice SCSI target of another terabyte on it, I'm going to have three terabytes across it, so it's perfectly fine. So there we go. That is the new setup for the uh, for my Acer AT350 F2 server. And uh, next time around, we will install and set up ESXi. That's it for the day here at Backyard Tech. I'll catch you tonight for the convos. Have a good one all. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.